What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with a small news video so let's get into it. Also people excuse my voice, I have got some dirty man flu and it is killing me and I can hardly breathe out my nose, it's hurting! But anyway people, it seems as though a horde kind of mod might be coming back or coming to Destiny within Destiny 2. Doug on Twitter asked Christopher about it the following Will we ever see game modes like Prison of Elders, Course of Oryx and Arkans Forge added back into the game? Barrett replied with yes. Now to me this tweet by Barrett within the reply could mean one or two things. One, we are getting them old or one of them old Destiny 1 game modes back. Court of Oryx which was okay to begin with but then just got really repetitive. Uh, this I believe was due to the lack of reason to actually keep doing it. Easy changes though could fix that. We then have Prison of Elders which to me was something of a bore. This I rarely enjoyed playing. It was probably just the five rounds of nonsense. Now I know many people enjoyed it. That's completely fine. But after obtaining the three exotics it offered and the point of the stretch to get said exotics it just became really boring. Honestly, I think it was due to the 5 rounds, it was just kinda too long and without checkpoints, being kicked from such activity, which happened too many, was a right pain in the ass and it all equaled out into being a big fail in my opinion. Now such a concept could be great, but more work would have to be put into it to keep us wanting more, actually something I feel the whole game needs right now. And then we have Arkans Forge. Now this, I think the opposite, Arkans Forge in my opinion was great and it tied into many things in the game which needed you to go back and grind this place for. I can't remember now but it was either part of the Fawn or Icebreaker quest. It was a while back but I'm pretty sure the exotic quest for either one of these two weapons dropped within the Arkans Forge loot pool. And even that was enough to get people playing. But it offered so much more. It was the single fight activity. It could be easy but then again it could be super hard depending on the Siva offering used. But it also had its own exclusive gear, it had a few exclusive weapons and overall it was a real fun place to be and this all comes down to the reason needed to play it. Now if any of these modes were to make a return it would be this one I'd most like to see back. The Arkans Forge is like a refined version of both the Court of Oryx and the Prison of Elders. Now the second thing this reply by Barrett could mean is they are working on a fresh new Horde mode type of feature. This I would love to see. And if it did happen, I'd expect such to be released within the next DLC with Raid Layer 2. Now thinking of such a new Horde mode and what they have made in the past and the way Destiny 2 has turned out, I ain't very optimistic. But in saying that, they understand the change needed. Now I feel, as bad as it seems, the game needs to go backwards towards Destiny 1 rather than forwards with the direction they tried taking it to make the game work. With this direction of going backwards, I think the incorporation of a new Horde mode might work. I'm thinking maybe the infinite forest might play a decent part. This place in my opinion is so underwhelming and it doesn't meet its actual potential. So such a place could be used. The random concept of how the infinite forest is said to work would be a great core start to a new horde mode feature. If you think about it, it could be used like Arkans Forge and once activated generate a random environment with a set boss. Using the basics of the Arkham Forge, just with different generated environments and giving the place also its own set loot which is decent to play for, making it challenging to those who want a challenge but rewarding at the same time. Such a feature I believe would really work. But what do you think about this? Do you think it would just take the easy route and revamp an older feature or create a whole new mod? Let me know down below. In other news, Sparrows on Mercury. As you must be aware, you cannot use your Sparrow on Mercury. This is because no doubt of how small this place is and if you were able to use your sparrow you'll get around it in a matter of seconds. Barrett on Twitter was asked, do you think we will ever be able to get sparrows in patrol on Mercury? I know it's a small place but it can be a pain sometimes. Barrett replied with, we're looking into making that change. Now to me this is something that shouldn't be anywhere near the top of their list of things to do. It worries me kind of because the amount of questions about real changes needed to the game Barrett is asked and he decides to reply to this one, it makes you think. This for me in my opinion doesn't even need doing, Mercury is way too small as it is, having a sparrow to get around on will only make it feel even smaller, which I don't think will work. I mean it's super small considering the size of other planets, but it's an okay sized place to explore. It doesn't need the incorporation of sparrows, not in my opinion anyway. 
Now Iron Banner comes tomorrow but we also get maintenance too. It puzzles me why they drop maintenance on weekly reset day but yeah expect servers to be down for a good few hours. I will have another video coming later discussing all the new changes in Iron Banner so stay tuned for that. But guys I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and your continued support in these dry times of Destiny 2. And hopefully people I will see you on that next one.